So Nigerian singer Simi is lamenting over the state of educational system in Nigeria. Mm. She said, quote, most of us can't even remember most of what we were taught in all the many years we spent in school. People have potential and talent not tapped into, quote, because it is not prestigious enough. Then they spend years learning something they don't care about, forget everything right after and end up doing something else with their lives. So what's the point? Who did this to us? And of course, that's from <coughs> Simi. So joining us um, to have this conversation virtually is a man who is passionate about not just education, but the right kind and skill acquisition. The CEO and founder of Accurate Africa, Bryce Jaja. Hi, Bright. Hey, what up? How What's you happening? doing? Mm -hmm. See you guys are having fun. Oh, yeah, we are, we are. But I mean, we need to... Um, should I call this part get serious now? Mm. Because um, when I read um, Simi's um, submission, your platform mm. came to mind definitely. What was your first reaction when you saw that? Um, I think it's just something that I've been talking about for the longest time. And I'm just tired of talking about it because, I mean, it's, for me, I don't know if it's, if it come across, you know, to everyone. But for me, it's just common sense. It's literally just common sense, right? Um, we've been in this path for more than 60 years. Um, we've adopted the educational system that was given to us by our colonial masters. And we've, we've gotten independence and we're still, you know, um, in this path, knowing the fact that over the years, we've not gotten any positive results. Actually, every single year, it gets worse. And nobody's waking up in the morning to say, can we just decide and change the system and come up with something that actually works? Can we try something else, right? And nobody's saying anything. So for me, it's just something that I've always seen and I've just, I'm just tired of talking about it. But for me, I would just, and that's the reason why I created Africa, I created Africa in the first place, is to just start creating structure that would help as many people who are willing to pay attention. And that's it. I like your take on this, Jaja, because um, left to me, I think um, Simi, Simi has bragging right over this because at the end of the day, she went to a private university in Nigeria. She probably learned something, but she's one of the best female musicians we have presently. So I think, um, don't you think that the educational system as well should infuse vocational craft into our four walls of education? So it's not just based on, okay, because I'm a science student, I have to study biology, I have to do this and I have to do all of that. Like, don't you think that it's time for us to start exploring the interest of our children and then still infuse it in the educational system? So even if you're a science student, you can still do all the stuff that has, um, that is relating to art and not limiting it to just science. I think the first thing that we need to do is to is to redefine what education actually is. Because in our society, education is not is not really just getting information that you can apply um, to get results. Education is prestige. Education is identification. Mm. It's oh, I went to school. Mm. Mm, okay. Oh, I have a degree. All right. Um, oh, oh, I have a master's degree. Oh, I went to this university or that university. That is how that is how definition is de de is defined in our society. It's not focused on oh, there's a problem here. Let's train people and equip people with the skills to solve that problem. That's that's that should be the focus. So the first thing is we need to redefine education. Education cannot only be let, be acquired in the classroom. Education. Most of the young people who are doing amazing things as uh, uh, would I say as streetwise. These are people who learn from daily True. interaction True. with people, with the society. Check each and every one of them. You most of the young people that are successful, me and myself, I'm streetwise. I learned from communicating and interacting and transacting with people every single day. Mm. Right? So we don't just need to bring in vocational education into our system. We need to prioritize it. Mm. We need to prioritize it because, one, our structure and our system in Africa is, 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 so, is, 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 so, is such a way that we need people who can take advantage and leverage on resources. And the, 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 the educational system that we've adopted, we don't understand that that has designed to keep us on one spot 
and that has actually designed to to cripple us. We don't we don't see that. Because basically what the Europeans and, and everybody else want from us is our natural resources. And once we understand how to harness that, then they don't have access to that anymore. Mm. That's the reason why they came up with this whole system of you becoming a graduate and working in a bank mm. and working in, 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 in you know, or becoming a lawyer. How would you work in a bank? How, how would a bank work if right. there's before, no money in the system? We start What's the function of the bank if there's no money, if we cannot... You know, we, if, if we cannot leverage on our resources I, I, I and create wealth. I don't want you well. to trickle into colonization well, well. and neocolonization because that conversation will not even finish. Um, but yes, a good point that you've mentioned. Uh, for, fortunately for me, I've been able to see other societies where they have, in quote unquote, like your words, have prioritized vocation. Okay. So you see that from high school, you have two options either to go to the regular university. Or go to TAFE, like they'll call it in some states and stuff, where it's vocation based. Or so you learn, and they're still learning. It's not as if they'll come out and be uneducated. They're educated, can speak English and write, but then they're more skill um, skill based. And I'm, I'm 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 not trying to speak for you, but I'm guessing that that's your um, your the goal as well to be able to have that type of prioritization in Nigeria. So my question is really is I don't I don't really see that happening. But um, if 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 I was going to hold on to your hope, what would we, what would it take? to be able to start to make serious actions in achieving that where we can evolve with our education system to a point where we start to value and almost like industrialize and, and put structure into vocation as a occupation in Nigeria. It's, it's something that our, our government have to, and I think I hope um, too that they are looking towards that, but it's something that our government have to do. Um, there's a university in Taiwan, I can't remember the name, but it's one of the biggest hospitality universities. And what they teach there is everything that has to do with hospitality from um, bartender to um, chefs to um, just think about anything hospitality. They have the entire university is designed that way. Do we have um, a university for entertainment, which is one of the biggest things that is going on in Nigeria, the entertainment industry? Do we have a, a university for that or do we have just one course? that is literally undervalued in probably one of these universities? Do we have a university for construction that is focused on just construction? Do we have a university for hospitality? Do we have a university for just agriculture? We need to, we need to find a way to focus and prioritize the, the various sector and make sure that we align it with the natural resources in that location. For example, when you're thinking of the North, you should have some of the biggest agricultural system, educational system in the North. When you're looking at when you're looking at at, at the south at the south south you're, look, you're looking at how to leverage on the water how to leverage on on water technology and all of that stuff that should be the focus we should not always follow the trend we should design ways and, and structures that would benefit the people the system and the available resources right and so the government has a role to play in changing those policies to create um um um, um favorable environment for private sector even if they don't want to invest in that for private sector to be able to invest in that now why we're waiting for the government to do that we still have the private sector to still engage in this if we really want to curb youth unemployment in nigeria we have to prioritize technical and vocational skills trade it's not especially starting from the mentality of, of society back in the days when we we're growing up if, if, if your if your dad wants to motivate you to go to school he will tell you that if you don't if you don't go to school you end up becoming a carpenter like being a carpenter is something wrong okay yeah um, right that right. that society I, of perception has to change yeah. i like that you've gotten to that point because from what simi said she mentioned not being prestigious enough and i think we had a conversation on this table as well where a guest said uh, most of the changes we might be wanting is something that would come in the next generation that's the one coming after us so in looking at that um, phrase prestigious enough how do parents let me call them the new generation parents begin to look at their kids to harness what um, their talents are and their strengths are and not exactly paint it as not being prestigious enough in that way they can actually help them to be who they want to be and um, maybe look at the skills that work for them how what advice would you give the new generation parents right now First of all, I wouldn't blame the parents. Um, it's not just thinking, it, it's not think, thinking, a, thinking in a positive way has a lot to do with the content that you receive. And that has a lot to do with the reality. And I'm not going to deny the fact that the reality of technical and vocational skill trade professionals is not, is not favorable. And that's the reason why no parents want that for their kids, right? So I wouldn't want to start with the, how the parents see things. 
if the parents are willing to be part of the change, that's where I, I would start from because changing their mindset would not solve the problem, right? The problem here is who wants to be a mechanic? What's the life of those who are mechanics right now? Why would I want my kids to be that, right? Um, the only way you can see a chance is, oh, those that are working in the bank have a, have a better chance to, start, to survive because you can see that reality. Now they are seeing, uh, a lot of them are going into entertainment now or, uh, or, or advising their kids to go into sports now because there's a little bit of hope in that space. So the first thing first is to create a structure that benefits the young people who are in this trade. And mm -hmm. the people that can only do it, like you said, the next generation will be the ones to benefit from it. But it will not happen if this generation, which is you and me, don't put action in place. Mm -hmm. The reason why we're not benefiting from it is because our parents did not do it. Mm -hmm. And the next generation would not benefit from it if we don't do it. Mm -hmm. So it's a, it's, a, it's a thing of like what I told a couple of, of, of weeks ago, which is, um, the, a failed generation failed the generation that's failing our generation. Mm. Now, are we going to let our generation fail the next generation, or are we going to end the, the cycle? I think that, that's, so that's worth this is on us to change that's that narrative. Mm. Thank you so much, Bright, for your contribution. Thank you very much for having me. Appreciate it. So, my question would be: Are you willing to be the change you want to see? Hmm. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm.